Hey y'all, um, <clears throat> I'm coming with actually three videos today. Um, yes, I know it has been a hot minute since I made a video. Um, the last video I'm going to make, um, I was purposely waiting to make it um, just because I wanted to go through everything, uh, most of the stuff first so I can make a, a full My Experience video. Um, this is what's on my nails. Um, they are about a week old, um, but this these first two videos are my scandal and how to get away with murder. Um, I got a new tablet for Christmas, um, so yeah, because I I didn't like doing the videos on my on the laptop. I I like the tablet better. Um, my hair I actually blow dried my hair for the first time in like three years because my hair is so long now to wear. I can't do the sit on the dryer. It still takes days for it to dry. So um, I blow dried it. Um, it actually goes down my back. Um, but because I still don't really want to do nothing to it, I just parted it down the middle and I just have like, I twisted it and I have two puffs or two balls. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's this hair is twisted. Um, so it won't kink up. Um, the heater just came on. It is really cold outside. Um, today, you know, it's the day before Valentine's, so happy Valentine's Day to everybody. But like I said, this is going to be, I'm going to make these videos quick because I want to get to my third video. Um, okay, so let's just jump into it, y'all. It is Scandal Season 5, Episode 10. It's hard out here for a general. Okay, now y'all know I skip around. This First of all, Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder were both worth the wait. Like, I've seen this on Facebook and what is up with like these long behind three and four months, I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but hiatuses, like, oh my God, it's ridiculous. Like, for instance, Empire, Empire doesn't, it don't come back to March. Like, like, dang, we've been off a goddamn show. But, okay, but this was worth the wait. So I hope Empire, I hope the people over there come with it. Because if you gonna make people wait for months of Sundays for the show to come back home, like, like damn it, like we waiting for a new season, y'all better come with it. And Scandal came with it. Now y'all know I skip around. It opened like, is, is Sally Langston gonna be the, the new like, if this how it's gonna go opening with her psycho behind so open with her talking and it closed with her talking which y'all know i'm actually here for that because sally sally tickles me because something is wrong with that woman it's like sally langston reminds you of some of those those super 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 excuse me evangelical people who are just like so saved so sanctified that you just you can't even speak I mean, like, because she's just, you look at her and you like, well, how are you so high and mighty when you killed your husband? Like, honey, you killed your husband. Like, let's not forget that. But, yeah. Okay. Daddy Pope and Liv. I understand, like, how to get away with murder. It's a couple of weeks later. Scandal, it's, you know, the timeline, it's a couple of months later. But when the hell did, did Daddy Pope and Liv get on, we on just sitting down at the table level? You know, I mean, I understand that's her daddy, but I was like, hmm, okay. Jake and Liv. Y'all, I am not here for Jake and Liv. I know everybody tired of the back and forth. I'm team Fitz all day. I like it when Liv is with Fitz. I Y'all, I'm just not here for her and Jake and their foolishness. I'm just not. I'm trying not to skip to the meat and potatoes um, with Jake and Daddy Pope, how they how they did live. Um, Abby, the whole episode, I'm just going to sum her up in a few seconds. The whole episode, you see Abby, like, Fitz just act like he just ain't got nobody else. Like, he calling... Abby better than me because, honey, I understand that's the president. I understand that you on call. But there is something like that's a reasonable amount of time. Like, call 
calling this woman at damn three, four o'clock in the morning. If it's not like, look, Abby, um, some some stuff just happened with this other country, and I need you to come in and yada whoop whoop. This ain't some national security mess. If it's something that can hold off to the morning. Let it hold off to the morning. Don't be caught. Like, come on. So, Fig is just blowing her up. Abby is aggravated. Leo, who, you know, we know Abby with Leo. She's sitting a line talking about he got the flu. He does, he that. But Leo actually gone um, on the campaign trail. Leo wants her to quit. You know. But, yeah, y'all. I'm happy Abby got uh, Fitz together in the end. Because Fitz was doing too much. He was doing entirely too much. Um... Okay, they're finally, since Liv is finally back at Pope and Associates, they finally get a case. Okay, so the client is this woman, very first woman, um, Air Force General appointed over something, and her computer gets hacked. Now, when her computer gets hacked, excuse me, y'all. They saying it was the boyfriend, you know, because she's dating this guy. The whole time, kind of said no it's not him it'd be too easy if it was him but she's scared she's gonna get fired she wants Liv to find out who did it who hacked her computer and you know kind of keep it quiet well it get out you know and let me see okay it get out once Jake find okay one of the press you know at the press conference that abby is the white house press um you know conference that abby's doing since she's the white house press uh, secretary um they tell her you know they ask oh do you have anything i know information about this she play it off like i know what you're talking about come at me with something better but really she don't know like all these top secret files um that this person now you know has access to fitz finds out you know of course abby tells fitz and Fitz goes to Jake and he's like, look, we think it's the boyfriend. I need you to find him and I need you to handle this. And Fitz, I'm sitting up here like, Fitz and Jake, like, it's to me, I knew then. I said, something is up with this. Something is up with this. I'm not, I'm not buying this. Okay. Y'all, I'm going to keep going. But this tablet fell. So hold on. Okay. But I was like, something is up with this. Like Fitz and Jake. I'm like, mm, I'm just not buying this. Because Fitz was like, I trust you. And I'm like, why would you trust him? Hold on, I got to get the lighting right back. So I'm like, why would you trust Jake? Okay. But I knew then. I was like, y'all know what? Something up. Something is up. I'm not buying this. Okay. Um, I, You know, that whole scene, I was just like, Chai bye. Um, okay. If y'all hear something, we have neighbors, and sometimes I can hear because they have a puppy and their puppy. Like, I think our washrooms are like back to back, and I think that's where they put their puppy. So, if you hear him yelling at the puppy, that's why. Um, okay. Well, in the end, just to sum it up, in the end, it wasn't the boyfriend. The case that lived and was working on, which, like I said, I kind of figured that. Um, I still don't know the guy name who is um, the new Harrison. Hook and Quinn. Hook, Quinn want to like bring this dude into their inner circle. Hook don't. And at first, I was like, damn, Hook. But Hook was like, I, I understand what Hook said. Hook was like, no, he's normal. He can't be friends with us because he's normal. If he's friends with us, then we're going to corrupt him. We're going to turn him. And he, you know, he's he's a normal person. What Hulk was saying is, y'all, Quinn started off normal. Okay, Quinn started off, she was good. Then next thing you know, shit, Quinn just lost her mind with his B613 mess. And now Quinn, you know, her and Hulk be having, whenever they feel like messing around, be having hot animal sex in garages. And after he done ripped the tooth out with the pliers. And so... Mm -mm. Hug is saying, look, we we not gonna have him and all that. Okay, no, we're we're gonna. So to the guy, it looks like Hug is being rude, but really he's really doing it for the dude's own sake. 
Okay, like I said, in the end, it was not the woman's boyfriend. Okay, it was Jake. Jake done killed the man, the boyfriend. Okay, he done killed him. And Jake has, the Fitz has appointed Jake to this position that the lady had. You know, the something, something with security, national security or something. Okay, so Liv, she go, because Jake, and Jake is, I don't, they didn't say he was, I, think, I don't know if he's living with Daddy Pope, but Daddy Pope calling him his son and he done came home and, and whatnot. Okay, so Daddy Pope is like, we get in power. We want, you know, Pennsylvania, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue power. You had that, but you chose to let it go. Tell a little pretty much saying, look, when you was messing with Fitz, you had power. Now you don't got nothing. So now it's like Liv is going to help Millie with, with her book and with her campaign. But y'all, I'm calling it now. Something is up. Like, I really hope that Liv don't let her daddy like twist her and corrupt her and make her like power greedy or whatever like I'm y'all I'm just calling it I feel like something is up Cyrus I didn't say nothing about Cyrus Cyrus ass is messy as hell because he pretty much Cyrus know because you know we all know Cyrus had pretty much is just there on paper Fitz don't trust Cyrus no more. Cyrus not in the inner circle. He's just pretty much there on paper at this point. And he's, you know, he kind of laughing at Abby because Fitz just running her through the mud. But in a way he laughing at her, but in a way he kind of trying to help her. But I don't like that. I don't, I want to see Cyrus. I want to see Cyrus more like we've been seeing Cyrus in the past. Um... What else? That's it really for that episode. Um, like I said, it was everything. It was. It was really good. Um, um, what else? It was really, really good. I'm just, y'all, I'm just lost. I'm I'm so lost with it. Like we're gonna see on the next episode, Liv and Jake, they gonna have sex and then she gonna be like, This is never happening again. And he gonna smirk and say, oh, yes it is. Liv, are these the only two? Two men you have access to? I mean, y'all, I'm just so not here for her and Jake. Like, at this point, in, at this point, I feel like there is no Team Jake. You know, people's like, oh, no, she needs to be... The person that... The character that Jake is now, I feel like he is slowly turning into damn Daddy Pope. Like, this conniving... Um backstabbing type of mentality that daddy pope got i feel like he is slowly getting there like seriously um what else i'm trying to think was it anything else yeah that's it i just i want to know I, i'm curious like because i was thinking i was like well fence is bought out the white house so how are they gonna do this you know, so I guess that's going to be the new, you know, the next chapter in Scandal. Once Fitz leaves, you know, it's Millie. You know, maybe she's going to be the president. Um, we got to see. I'm just curious as to how this is going to play out. Um, oh, one last thing, honey. Lil client, the, gen the, the general lady, she asked Lil to call the president. Because, you know, at this point, everybody know that Lil and the president was together. Chai, she asked Liv to call Fitz. Honey, Fitz didn't, Fitz didn't get on that phone. I said, so y'all, I'm calling that too. I don't think that the love or whatever between Fitz and Liv is over. Clearly, they still got feelings for each other. Clearly. But y'all, that's it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will be back making videos. Um, Yeah. I am I only have three days left at my job here on post um I am an army wife um I have been working for the last like 10 months um but I'm going to talk about that in my last video um that all goes into my last video so I'm going to do really really quick how to get away with murder thank y'all for watching